Kiev claims 9,000 Russian troops have entered Ukraine. This is backed by NATO, which says Moscow is supplying anti-government fighters with equipment and vehicles. But international observers that are actually there at the border disagree. OSCE's latest report says over 6,000 people cross the border daily, most of them out of Ukraine. It states that about 500 people in military-style clothing were observed crossing in both directions, bearing no weapons or insignia. Monitors saw no military personnel or vehicle crossing, but that hasn't stopped Washington from accusing Moscow of fanning instability and once again putting all the blame for the conflict on Russia. Artis Guy and H.H. Gan try to find out what evidence there is to back up these accusations. I went to the State Department with a very simple and straightforward question. Do the actions of the Ukrainian government comply with the Minsk agreement? Here's the answer. In general, Russia has illegally, uh, and Russian-backed separatists has Ill have illegally come into Ukraine, including Donetsk. Uh, Ukraine has a responsibility and absolutely the right to defend themselves. Now, we certainly expect both sides to abide by the Minsk agreements. We have not seen that happen. We've seen a lot of talk, not a lot of backup uh, from the Russian side. If there are specific incidents, I'm more than happy to um, talk about I'm them. I'm specifically asking about the actions of the Ukrainian government. Can you give a more definitive answer whether or You're not, not they talking comply about a specific with the Minsk incident. Agreement. I think I'll leave it at what I said. It was clear to me that the spokesperson was trying to avoid giving a direct answer to the question, so I pressed on but received more of the same. With the Minsk <coughs> agreement, do they comply? Uh, you, you pass a judgment that Russia is not complying well, with the I agreement. I listed a Can range of specific uh, ways the Russia is not complying. Under the agreement, okay. sides must avoid uh, deploying and using heavy artillery. Isn't it what the Ukrainian government is doing right now? Well, first of all, um, let's start again with the fact that Russia is has illegally intervened in Ukraine and come into a country that was a sovereign country. So I'm, I'm not sure if you're proposing that a sovereign the country doesn't the have Ukrainian the right to defend themselves. I think we're going to leave it at that. Russia. The fact is that the Ukrainian government is using heavy artillery in residential areas. There were moments when I felt that the State Department spokesperson was not willing to admit even that simple fact. It, it just seems to be that when the government of, of Ukraine is accused of uh, shelling, of bombarding uh, civilian targets, when they are, the ac that accusation is made, you refrain from... Um, you, you don't take you, you say let's ha let's have an investigation into it and and when there are incidents that you ascribe to the separatists there's an immediate condemnation I, so i think I that's where the, that's these exactly questions are coming what's happened there are times where it's clear who is responsible this is a case where there's going to be an investigation this tactic of avoiding questions about what the U ukrainian government is doing by pointing to russia is becoming increasingly obvious